the larger the particle accelerator, the faster you can speed the particles so that when they collide, there's much more energy in that collision. Mm -hmm. You'll probe regimes that previous accelerators could not. That's right. And so you just scale up what we got going now, and you need something the size of the solar system to get to these energies. Right, which doesn't seem very viable. No, yeah. not, it's not. So what's, your, what's plan B? <laughs> <laughs> if you ask about quantum mechanical point particles, and you say, what kind of spaces could they move through? It turns out that quantum field theory or quantum mechanics can be formulated in any type of space. But if you ask the same question for these uh, little one-dimensional strings, if you say, where can a quantum mechanical string move? The only space they can do that in are spaces that obey Einstein's equations of general relativity. That sounds so, good. Wow. Unfortunately, like many good things, uh, things come with a catch. And the catch in string theory is that this beautiful formulation I just described of, you know, you can describe all the particle physics by one little extended object, you get gravity for free, only seems to work if the universe that this happens in has more than three spatial dimensions and one time-like dimension that we seem to see in our universe. 